Hello, uh, my name is Teddy. Uh, welcome once again. Uh, we are going to demonstrate how to create modules or code libraries in Python. So modules are simply uh, files which contain functions or variables that you might want to call into your application and to use them to carry out certain functions. For example, if you, have, uh, you want to carry out JSON operations, you will import a JSON module. If you want to cut out a date and time operations, you are going to import a date time. So we're just going to demonstrate how to create a simple uh, module in Python. Uh, before you get started, kindly subscribe to my channel, put a like and comment on this uh, video. So let's get started. So first, uh, for you to get started with a module, you have to create a file. So let's just go to our PyCharm text editor go to python project and let's right click create a new file python file my first module dot py so ensure it's a dot py file so first we're going to say now we're going to define a function here if you want to learn more about functions, I have a tutorial on functions. So we're just going to uh, define a function here, say hello. And then we are going to print. We're going to print hello or oh, hi. My name is test. Also, let's just define a variable here and say x equals to 10 right so let's save this so uh, this is simply uh, our first module so if you want to call this function hello or a variable x let's create another file called tutorial 5 and then uh, for us to import now our first module into this uh, tutorial 5.py what we are going to do, we are going to say import my first module. So whatever we are going whatever we are doing here is this my first module is the file name of where our functions and uh, our variables that we want to import into our file are located. So we normally use this file name. So ensure that our my first module.py and whatever I'm importing, they're the same. So you don't add a dot .py. It's just uh, you just import the name of the file without a dot .py extension. So here I've done import my first module. So if we want uh, to call uh, a variable x, we are going to say uh, we are going to say variable x is equals to my first module dot x so if we print this value we are going to get variable x let's run this function if we run this function we are going to get a 10 why because in our first uh, module our x uh, carries 10 as its value so if you want to call this function hello what are you going to do we are going to say my first module dot hello so if we run this we are going to get hi my name is test because here our hello function prints hi my name is test so that's the simplest uh, way of how to create a module and import that module into your a file that you want to use so in most uh, advanced cases you'll find uh, libraries that have like 20 or 50 folders and files so uh, these are uh, it's created in a simple manner so the you can also use an alias like let's say import my first module as as high or whatever name you want to use so these are our alias of my first module so whatever you want to use the high you're going to replace in my first module 
and say these are high these are high so so if we run this it's still going to give us the same same values so LSS are normally used uh, when you want to rename your uh, module uh, names so that you can use a name that you can easily remember uh, so basically those are the things that you need when creating a module so next we are going to look at instead of importing the whole module into your file for example the whole module that contains all these what if you just want to import uh, one of these instead of uh, everything so we're going to demonstrate that so assuming you just want to import only certain uh, functions or variables into your file instead of uh, all the functions defined in a module that you want to import uh, so we're just going to look at uh, the syntax of how to do that so we are going to define here let's say student uh, details and say student name is test they are also going to say email is test at test dot com so actually we only want the student details we don't need all these x and hello so what are you going to do we are going to use a from uh, keyword to import our our, our our variable so we are going to say from my first module import student right so we're only importing student details we don't need this x and hello uh, functions so here we are going to say let's print what student name so we're going to say student and then name so if we run this we are going to get we are going to get test because our student name is test or let's say my name is John Doe if we run this function we are going to get we are going to get John Doe so this is another way of uh, just importing the things that you need not necessarily everything that is defined in the module that you want to import so you'll also find that we have uh, inbuilt uh, functions like uh, import OS, import OS. We also have import JSON. We have import date time. The inbuilt mod modules that you might want to use for your operations, for example, date JSON OS and others. So, so these are. Uh, these modules are created in a simple way uh, they might have uh, many files but this is a simple format of creating uh, modules in python so if you like this tutorial kindly subscribe uh, to my channel like comment as we continue coming up with other uh, tutorials on the same